a small group of us set off to the Danakil Desert. It's one of the most remote regions in Ethiopia. I was brought by my friend Abai to photograph a campaign for her brand Zaf. I started Zaf, which is a premium lifestyle brand that I'm proud to say is all made in Africa. We wanted to highlight the rich heritage of our country, as well as the unique locations that people don't really know about. There are so many stereotypes about my homeland, and with a shoot like this, we can break that narrative. Good morning, Kia. Good morning, How are you? I'm good. Nebiu. Yep. Where are we going, man? We are flying to Makale. Everybody, everybody's just filming, filming yes. themselves, man. So, bye. What are we doing? We're gonna drive for another an, an hour and a half or so, and then we'll be hiking about four hours. What do you think will be the hardest part? Uh, volcano when you walk, and the weather will be very hot. What part are you most excited about? Just to see the uh, volcano. Yeah, <laughs> I always wish I'd like to see that too. Yeah, me too. Hanging out together, taking yeah. good pictures, and uh, having a good time. Yeah, it doesn't get any better than that. It's Project Me from the song. Uh, <laughs> very clever, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, dinner's ready. Konjo. Uh, so we've made it here this far and uh, we're gonna load up these camels with all of our photography equipment as well as camping supplies and uh, start our four hour trek. Yeah, thank you man. Give him a nice pet, rub his head. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so look, everything is uh, tied up very, very well. It's very secure, and uh, we're just gonna have to hope for the best and that the camera gets there in one piece on the other side. <laughs> yes. Let's go, guys! So far, we've been walking for an hour and a half. Or an hour and a half. <laughs> you guys have the nicest house of all of us. I'm glad you guys have such a good attitude, thank you. I love the cigarette, bro. It's as if you're not breathing in enough toxic fumes. You just needed to add a little more. Hey. What's going on, man? I just saw this spot, the studio apartment, I'm kind of chilling. <laughs> yeah, how much does this studio apartment cost in Brooklyn, brother? Well, it's cost like $1,000. <laughs> We're finally here, so it's good. It feels nice. I'm tired and sleep. Yeah. So we have about three and a half hours, maybe. We should come up with the plan before that, so oh, yeah. everyone knows what they're doing. What I was thinking was um, when we uh, shoot tomorrow morning, we can shoot closer to here because we don't have the capacity to get there. And then sunset, we can go right down by the edge of the crater, correct? Uh, if we start like five, yeah. we wake up here slowly, like, you know, no rush. We go up there, take this stuff and then prepare what we need. Yeah. And it also depends on the weather. Like if it's windy and it's too, wind is coming to our face, like we can't even go down. Me. Nebiu and Jonas, we can just go get our equipment and literally just start walking yeah, down. Yeah. Because I think we can even with flashlights find like find kind of where we want to shoot and get yeah. a sense of like what we're doing. Yeah. And then if you guys want to like prepare the girls, like yeah. get things moving, yeah, you good, you yeah. can't miss us. We're the only idiots with a flash <laughs> on a volcano. <laughs> no. Okay, I have some information. We're gonna wake up at five, mm -hmm. and. Um, the light starts getting really nice at 6. Like after the light's gone, we have the whole day to rest. And we should probably go to those covered buildings. I think it's better to stay out of the sun. Oh, look at how fancy this is. Like flowery. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah, stop disturbing me. <laughs> so um, basically we're on top of a volcano. 
and uh, I had uh, camera trouble on my last trip. So we're going to switch the back to the new body. Normally it would be good if this were performed in a very clean setting to avoid sensor dust, but what the fuck can we do? <laughs> so let's do an operation. Uh, the people at phase one are going to have a literal heart attack, but that's okay. But it's, it's okay. So uh, we woke up this morning and we started actually seeing the surroundings that are around us. Because <laughs> last night when we were traveling, we couldn't see anything. Now we just reached the edge of uh, the volcano and I'm going to spin the camera around. Look at this. Maybe let's start back. Okay. And looking nice and strong and confident. So far, so good. I mean, if you have this location, you have these subjects, you have this crew, and you screw it up, you get a good job. It's going well. Beautiful light. And amazing backdrop as well. She's just unreal. This morning, to be honest, was very overwhelming because, uh, like, we arrived at this volcano. It's the first time we're seeing it because we arrived in the night when everything was dark. So, as the light's coming up, is when I'm supposed to be shooting, and instead, I'm like trying to figure out the shot. I see a little bit of the vest, at least the orange in there. So like for me as a photographer, I have a lot of instincts, right? Mm -hmm. Like I want to run in close and get a portrait, but yeah. like we need to see the bags. <laughs> okay, I want to like go wide and see the bags. Oh no, like we're missing the edge of the volcano now. There's a lot of stuff to balance. And then the last thing I'm trying to balance is like people's safety. <laughs> because yeah. the closer they go to the edge, the better it looks. <laughs> but also more dangerous. <laughs> but also, yeah, well, exactly. Guys, it's too hot for me. Don't mind my shirt is off. <laughs> How's it going, buddy? The going is great, man. Just had lunch. I'm just chilling here, waiting for the next shoot. Know, maybe the next two hours. Okay. You know, I like, just want to chill and grab some sleep. Uh, so right now we're looking at the first pictures from this morning. We're downloading. We don't have any electricity, so I'm trying to just download stuff, take a very quick look at it and then shut it off so we can save battery for the next days. Basically, we've been shooting every sunrise and every sunset, and just it gets so hot here during the day, we're just sleeping and just keeping out of the sun. So uh, things are kind of like slow, slow, then they get really hectic and crazy because we're trying to maximize our time for the beautiful light here. Last night at sunset, we were shooting on top of this volcano, and uh, we had a bit of a surprise of some crazy winds. I guess it's not really a surprise because what do you expect? You're on top of an active volcano. What do you think is going to happen? <laughs> yeah, the wind was really crazy and it destroyed one of my uh, Fotec umbrellas. But uh, it was worth it and I don't care because we got the shots that we needed and everyone's safe, everything's good, and it's just my Fotec is broken. That's a good day. Yeah, so right now we're cleaning uh, all the dust that crept in to the equipment and we're backing up. It's fucking dusty as well. I'll come back to you.
Yes, boy. Get up. <laughs> I was just about to fall asleep. Just talking with Abai about this morning. And all of a sudden, the whole the whole ground shake. Are you sure? And she goes, "What was that?" I said, "We're sleeping on a volcano." <laughs> what do you think? Apparently, there's a huge crack running alongside it, so we think it's the same place, but the ground just moved. We're doing a morning session and it's all white again. Um, except a little bit of a different angle than yesterday. Um, we had actually an early start today, so hopefully we'll get really nice shots. Beautiful Gabu looking good. The bag looks great there. Yeah, I think I'm just going a little too too fast, man. Okay. Yeah, calm down, man. Oh, yeah. And um, Daddy looks towards the volcano. So now this, I think, is yeah. such a beautiful group shot. So I took, well, I took two plates, mm? two okay. other pieces, so I have well, like, this rim coming out this way. I'll show you how it looks. Good job, guys! So, that's a wrap woo, woo. very first location. <laughs> we did it! We did it! Get the fuck out of the video, bro. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three. Woo! Yay! Yeah. Yeah. I'm alive. I feel not too easy when I die. So it's uh, been a few days without power. We finally have our generator, and now we're charging up everything that needs it. So these are all the flash batteries, camera batteries, but the most important thing is all the footage you make back home. So this is my little office here. One of the shots in this project that was completely not planned was a shot of the girls getting ready before the photo shoot. It was nothing planned, it was just what was happening. And it is very much what you would see in the typical Ethiopian homes. Women helping another woman. There's a lot of you know, intimacy that they just met a couple of days ago, but you can see that the space made us very close very quickly. Guys, please, please, please. We'll do the rest of the makeup in the car. Please, let's go. We woke up this morning at uh, 3.30 uh, to get here really early before the sunrise. We're in an amazing location and we're about to walk out and try to find it in the dark. But the thing is, it's a giant sulfur pit. So if we take the wrong track, uh, we're going to burn our feet off. So we have our local guide that's going to walk us through uh, sulfur on each side and find the safe place that we can uh, start shooting. Sulfur liquid. Do not, do not by any chance try to touch it or anything. This place is so beautiful, man. I've never seen a place like this. It's all colorful and just great. So let's see how, how, how the strap sits. So I think we need to bring the strap up. Yeah. So I think this works really well. And then there's another one too. It's just that nice. Like, 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 like we caught you by surprise. Like one of these. Let's go. Motherfucker. <laughs> Talk to me dirty. Hey. <laughs> we just finished shooting at our first location this morning and um, we noticed on the horizon that there was some really rusty looking vehicles and oil tankers. Let's go have a look and we'll see if we can use it for our second setup. Yeah, it's not going to work because um, the landscape just kind of plays the stereotype of um, the you know, Africa poverty. So I don't want to do the cliché. Yeah, it uh, is quite cliché. 
someone just saw that picture and they didn't see the campaign, they didn't know what we were doing, like it would be the wrong, the wrong like, message yeah, that we'd be sending message. out. Yeah. So there's a lot more other beautiful stuff in Ethiopia to shoot. For so sure. Let's go get and some of that. And we take advantage of that. <laughs> I think that is my cooking. This is very highly solely concentrated water and it, it could flow you. This is like more salt than Dead Sea. Thank you. What, is it, what does it taste like? Oh my god, it's very salty. You don't believe. You should try it. Yeah? Yeah. Oh wow. That is so fucking salty. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down. Like if it slides, if it okay, slides, is... you'll go in your face. This is a natural salt bath, man. I haven't showered for three days, man. <laughs> and I'm in thinking there. I should, I yeah, should yeah. try this thing. Get, get it, get it, get it. I'm not floating myself. I'm just an sister of Jesus, so I can do magic. <laughs> Tell my family I love them. Unye, unye, uru unye. Uh, one of the concepts that Abai envisioned is to have our subjects with some Afar camels. The camels are really important here because they actually transport salt. So this is an area where the salt is uh, dug up from the earth and transported miles and miles and miles across uh, Ethiopia. And we're just talking to some of the uh, herdsmen and uh, explaining the shoot and trying to see if we can come up with something uh, before sunset. Ethiopia, the promised land. Great, so, so why don't you walk out straight? Over this, this way, but walk toward me. Good morning. Good morning. All right. So, what is the setup today? What's happening? Today's the last day, so we got to strategically burn our energy off today. If you uh, finish a marathon and you still have energy at the end, you fucked up. So, we got to be ready to crash at the end of today and it means we used our energy wisely for the shoot. Yeah, 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 bring it right here and let's get a dress. Blur, 
my original idea was just to have the two girls in the back of the truck with the beautiful desert and that was enough. But in reality, if they were cruising through this area, which is near the border of Eritrea, there would be an armed guard there. So the guy who's in the photo is our actual armed guard that was with us during the shoot. We got some good shit. Yeah? yeah Did my bag, you can see my bag too? Yes, huh? you can see the bag. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. yeah, the photo's good and you can also see the bag. You know what that means? What? It means that these girls are done. You're done? Yeah, that was the last set of photos. Good job, guys. Thanks, Joey. Great. That's a wrap, huh? That's a wrap. We finished the, we finished the last shot of a very good subject. We found it online. We had to get a portrait of her. Can you imagine doing the whole shoot and not getting a nice portrait of, of a body? How's it possible, even? <laughs> Thank you. I know I'm going to I felt a pressure when I'm doing this shoot not to screw it up because everybody's giving me their time. They're waking up at 3 a.m. to shoot at sunrise. There were a few moments on the shoot where I asked myself, am I literally crazy for thinking we'll be able to do this? <laughs> There's a fire lit under my ass and like I have to perform well. And that's how I feel from my perspective is I want to do this country justice, I want to do your brand justice, and most of all I want the crew to be happy with what we all made together. Zaf is beyond just a commodity that people purchase. It's very much a symbolic of my home country. And I think this gives me an opportunity, a platform to showcase that to the world. The idea that I really loved about this was the new narrative of Africa. I love that how this brand is pushing that idea because we need to tell our own story in a different way. I know that I'm the only non-African person on this entire crew, but for me it was an honor to be part of that to try to change the story of Ethiopia. And I'm really excited about the photo shoot. It's quite encouraging to be able to see my country in this light. It was amazing.